We need to get back in the Bible and understand that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Am I preaching yet? All right. I want to. He said that they're tired of these carnal visions. They're sick of watching the world system invade the church. They remember when it was about the Word of God, about the presence of God, and about the miracles of God. And there's a deep hunger. You know, Pastor, you need to win a soul. You need a former gangster in your church. Man, they'll find ways to talk to your hypocrites that are better than anybody else. Oh, yeah. They will keep it real. Why do we need the lost souls to be saved? Why do we need a passion for the poor and the broken and the forgotten? Why should the real church have a bank president sitting to a homeless, next to a homeless person? Why should that be? Because they both need each other. One needs clothes and the other can't put anything else in his closet. Am I right? You see, David Wilkerson needed Nikki Cruz. Every bit as much as Nikki Cruz needed David Wilkerson. Nikki saved David from a powerless ministry. He would have been another name in, in some back part of the list of preachers in the Assemblies of God. But because of Nikki Cruz and the that a sinner had on his life David Wilkerson's name lives on and David looked at the Egyptian somebody help me am I preaching yet or am I going harsh for no reason or are you getting this David looked at the Amalekite slave the Egyptian slave who worked for the Amalekites and he asked him the, the question of the century the question of the century can you take me down to these Amalekites and the Egyptian said yes I know where they're camped the last person in the world that David ever thought could help him a slave said I know where your wife is I know where your kids are I know where they're hiding your money and if you give me something to eat, I can take you there. Somebody clap. Oh. Oh, I feel good right now. Oh, I feel the power of God right now. Oh, I think some of you are going to turn into soul winners. So for three days, he bandaged his wounds, he fed him, and he let him be restored. The number one, one of the number one movies in America is about a pastor in Costa Mesa named Chuck Smith, who is bored, said they got long hair and they got beards. I remember when he came over to Melody Land, Chuck Smith, to talk to David Wilkerson because David Wilkerson was preaching against long hair. And Chuck said, I was delivered of that legalism, maybe I can help you. So he comes over and David Wilkerson was so anointed that lost souls would run to the altar under incredible conviction. And he loved the lost, believe me, he loved the lost like no man I've ever known. So here is Chuck Smith confronting David Wilkerson and telling him 
Look at what God is doing, David. You're being used in spite of yourself. So you need to get over this. So then he, he went and prayed. I'll never forget it because I was there. I was there the night that David got up and addressed the issue of long hair. He said, I've always believed it made him look like a girl. He said, I've always believed what the Bible said that if a man have long hair, that it's a, a shame for him. But I stopped and would never read the next verse. Said, nevertheless, the church has no such tradition. And then he said, I made a mistake being against beards and hair when I looked at a picture of the founders of the Assemblies of God. <laughs> hallelujah. Somebody give me a hallelujah right here. Somebody give me a hallelujah right here. So now we come to the part where the slave led David. to the encampment of the Amalekites and the mighty army of David a long shot beyond words a general who led an army into the middle of nowhere hoping at some point that he'd get direction how many of you preachers are just like that the vision of God came to you to turn your church into a mighty outreach center and nobody in your church could understand the exotic nature of your new vision. And they're saying, Pastor, you've lost your mind. And so God rewarded David with a slave. And that day, those Amalekites were attacked. Every last member of a family was saved everything that was stolen and more besides was restored I think we ought to clap and give God the glory <laughs> 